Saturday evening after spending all day helping a friend put in their new Mitlider grow box, I came out here to look at my sugar snap peas and next to the beautiful sugar snap pea blossoms and the plump juicy pea pods, I found white powdery mildew, the bane of gardeners here in hot, humid Houston. So I immediately grabbed the best solution that I'm aware of for white powdery mildew. That is this little can of Lily Miller sulfur dust. I'll have a link below this video where you can pick this up. But this is an important item to have on hand because white powdery mildew will destroy your plants very quickly. You see you can use this on your roses, grapes, citrus, fruits, berries, nuts, vegetables, flowers, shrubs, and trees. And it's used to control white powdery mildew, rust, scabs, and mite. This is a very good thing to have on hand and it's a great fungicide and insecticide. You can dust this or spray it. It has a little cap here that you remove and then the bottle is squeezable and you can just puff it onto the plants. However here where it's really windy uh, that wouldn't seem to work very well. So what I did is I took three tablespoons. These are some spoons that my kids gave me for Christmas because my wife got tired of me using her kitchen measuring spoons. These are really nice spoons by the way. I'll have a link below this. These will last forever. But anyway, I took three tablespoons and put it in a pump sprayer. Now, don't get on me for a Roundup. I do not use Roundup, but this was the best quality sprayer I saw. And it also says liquid seaweed or compost tea. Man, I am glad we no longer go through that crazy headache and expense. No more liquid seed, seaweed or mixing up compost tea and hoping it has all the good stuff in it that the plants need. I'm just using this as a sprayer. I took three tablespoons and I and probably maybe half a teaspoon or so of dish soap and I put that in here. I put the dish soap in there to break the waxy film on the leaves to make this uh, stick better. Mix this up with one gallon and sprayed it on my plants. It took me two gallons to spray 120 sugar snap peas. And when I come out here today, I noticed that the white powdery mildew is dried up. And so I will give it another application anyway in just a few days to uh, make sure I get everything coated and I've stopped it because this will really take over any kind of plants. And when you've got big, beautiful, fruits and vegetables on your plants you don't want them to go to waste. I've really got to do some harvesting out here today and get these uh, picked off. But anyway if you have any concerns with powdery mildew pick up a, a container of sulfur dust and use it and it will do a great job. But remember you can't just apply it one time it's designed to be put on two or three times and that should take care of the problem. This is LDS Prepper reminding you if you are prepared you shall not fear. And reminding you, if you use the sulfur dust, you'll be able to control powdery mildew on your plants and have a strong, healthy garden. But remember, make sure you apply that as soon as you see any problems at all.